exciting is it to have this turn out for the fans? You probably knew they were going to travel well to be here in Chicago and, and to have this event. Well, it's incredible for our Cyclone fans. One, to be in the Sweet 16, but then two, to be able to get it to do it in Chicago where we have a great alumni base and it's also close for Iowans to be able to get here. Yeah, and then what is kind of the, uh, what have you heard from some of the fans? What is kind of the level of excitement? I mean, I know some people maybe say they weren't expected to be here, but now that they are, the excitement's been great. Well, I'd say two things. One, it's kind of like we're playing on house money with men's basketball because no one thought we were going to be here. And then number two, having our women playing tonight also, you know, out in Greensboro, that we have both our teams, only one of three schools that have two teams in the Sweet 16. So great that they're both in. Unfortunately, both playing at the same time, which makes it a little challenging. Yeah, I was just having to book you. Um, and your guys are just the men and seeing them tonight and in action. Uh, what are your emotions? Are you nervous? Are you excited? What is it? Um, I don't know if I'd say nervous. I mean, I think we're in a really good spot. It's a really good draw for us. So, um, you know, I think it'll be a really competitive game. And I, I you know, I, I like our chances to get on to the Elite Eight, which would be really neat. Specifically speaking of the men, their turnaround. I mean, it's been incredible. I, you kind of mentioned I don't expect them to be here. From your, you know, your perspective looking in, what's been incredible about the turnaround? Well, you know, it's just, it's, it's a great story for college basketball to go from 2-22 and 22 to the Sweet 16, but then to know all the, you know, the inner workings behind it of, you know, the young men that are in this program and how they, you know, it's a whole new team. And so, you know, I get it. Like, you know, they're, they're not the team that went 2-22, and 22, but they're also a group of young men that haven't played together. And so, you know, it, it's been fun to watch them just, you know, they went through some growing pains. They got off to a great start, then kind of hit a lull and then found their way out of it. And, and now they're you know playing good again. So, um, and then the whole storyline of TJ being in his first year is is you know and getting to do it back home in Wisconsin last weekend. You know those are all just great storylines for college basketball. And what's so special about just bringing TJ back and obviously going on a run like this? Well, you know TJ and I have known each other since 2006, 2007. We've been really close. Um, he's from Milwaukee. I'm from Oshkosh. We're both Wisconsinites. Um, having Tyrese, who's from Wisconsin, was really neat. It made last weekend so special for us because it was in front of family and friends. But, um, you know, I've watched him grow up as a coach, and so it's neat to be part of watching him get to do this at the highest level. Yeah, last question for me is just to have both the men and the women in the Sweet 16. That's definitely a big boost for this athletics department. Uh, absolutely. You know, as I've told some people that have said, oh, you know, they're playing at the same time. That's not fair. And I said, well, we could fix it really quick by one of us losing. And, you know, so um, it is special because in North Carolina, Michigan and Iowa State, those are two names we like being associated with. And, um, you know, we're the only school that's favored in both the games. So hopefully we're the only school that has two teams in the Elite Eight. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Thank you.